Miss you on the light. September 20th, 2018, letter number 287. Fourth part of Revelations of Father God through Apostle John. The sealed scrolls now are open. One minute. I am your Father God. I am sad. I am asking for your love. I am searching desperately for your love of all of you. In the scriptures we had mentioned this, that before the end the relationships of the people will change. They will be cold between them and they will be in dissolution. All these things are happening now in your days. What else can I see? What I am waiting for? What I hope for? What is there? I see the ones who changed. They changed. I am sifting the earth. Your souls. You run each day in meaningless places and things. The routine of the daily things are choking you wickedly. Where is the time that belongs to me? That I am awaiting you to dedicate to me? With 24 hours I fill your days and your nights each day. How many minutes or seconds at least you offering me? I do not speak about the priest or my dedicated workers. I speak for the rest of the people that not even the Lord's prayer they have no time to pray. How much time this prayer takes? Only one minute. Only one holy minute I will accept it like the most precious jewel from the lips of my children. Yet, not even this minute they don't dedicate to me. They have no time to dedicate to their Creator. They have no time for me that I blew breath of life in them. I look and I observe always their hours. They are taking countless hours for meaningless conversations, for fun and anything else. They put, me in meaning, they put time in meaningless and useless things. The technology consumes them like the eye of the storm as they losing their precious time there. Their hours are in the power of the cyclone because they use it for the useless technology. Why don't you work for spiritual benefit in the technology? Why don't you share the divine truths through the technology? Why don't you become many light workers so this painful system comes to its end sooner? What scares you? The end scares you. This is unavoidable. The return back to your true home scares you. It scares you of what you will find in paradise. Only if you knew, only if you had thought a little the true beauty that exists there, the most beautiful place on earth that your eyes had seen on earth is the poorest in comparison of the gardens in my paradise. All the earthly beauties are nothing in comparison with the heavenly gardens. No comparison can give the heavenly perfection. I want, I want you to taste all these things. I am offering them to you with my open hand. Why are you so afraid to accept them? This is my gift to all of you. Take it. Open them up. Marvel them. All of it is yours. For you I had created them. Touch them, my precious children. This is your own riches, your own treasure, your own inheritance. This is your true inheritance. Come, come, my heirs, my offspring, come and receive the contracts that had been signed from me for your riches. Come and receive your father's inheritance. What I have is yours. Father God, so be it.